Hey everyone, Dylan back here with another video today. Um, I think like a year ago I talked about this app called Envision AI, which basically lets you take your camera and uh, point it at things with text and it'll read the text out to you and it has other functions as well. And I didn't really do a tutorial, I just talked about it. But, uh, and, you know, I made a video talking about now that it is f completely free for iOS and Android. Um, don't know why I said it weird like that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I decided to do a tutorial on it. Uh, maybe it'll help somebody? I don't know. But I just wanted to talk about it. But yeah, that's Envision, A-I, E-N-V-I-S-I-O-N, A-I, on Android or uh, iOS. And uh, I'm going to go over some its functions and all that. I'm using uh, my phone, uh, the screen recording on it for the very first time. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. So... Wi-Fi signal full. Envision and scan instant text. Read preference flashlight. Reading and ink. So magnifier. at the very kind of like top... Magnifier button. Is a magnifier Double for if you activate. do have sight and you want to kind of like magnify with it. Um, this of course does not help someone if they're completely blind, but um, if you do have some sight, uh, there is that. Reading in English. English. Choose the language that you want to read button. And then you choose, Double there, there there's an option for, you know, what language you want it to read in. Uh, this also can read offline, by the way, so you do not need internet for it to read. Um, uh, although it does say that it is faster and more accurate, kind of, like when you do have um, internet, but it does have an offline option, so you can use that. But yeah. Um, I'm, I apologize for the noise in the background. Busy, busy-ish area that I live by, but it is what it is. Um, flashlight. Off button. And then um, there is a flashlight, so if it's too dark for it to be able to ret like see what it is, you can turn your flashlight on of your camera, and then uh, it'll uh, be able to view it. They did have a feature. I don't know if it's still a thing or if they took it off because they were working on it to make it better, but there was a feature where it would beep, at, like in uh, it would beep in a certain way to tell you that there's not enough light and uh, I, I messed around with it a while back I don't I don't know if it's still here though so it may or may not be and maybe they're working on it to make it better but there is that as a possible thing read preferences button and then um, reading preferences uh, you know that's just a couple quick settings there but let's go down to the very like bottom kind of of the screen AI left corner read, tab ish area navigation bar back button out of list envision ai selected read tab one of five and list five items not exactly the corner but there are these four tabs down here and they switch to different functions there's the read tab identify tab two of five. identify tab yep. Find tab three five. Find tab. Glasses. Tab five. Uh, glasses. Um, tab to activate. That is where they have like these glasses um, that you buy that use this app, and it can like be like it uses the app to basically you the glasses have a camera on it, and it so you can do things hands free. Um, they're like smart glasses or whatever. They're very, very expensive. They did get cheaper with this like update and stuff, but they're still like $2,500. So um, if you guys want me to talk more about them, I don't know if I will. I don't own them, but they're a bit expensive. Um, but that's what that is for. Um, and then the settings, which we'll go through. But it automatically is just starts out on the read tab. And then... Above that, a little bit above that, or scan text. The option. Document in a single or batch instant text. Speaks out text instantly. So we have instant Double text. Tab to scan text. And scan Capture text. A document in a single or batch scan. And uh, the scan Double text, it scans documents, as it just said. So it scans documents. You also can um, take a picture that's like in your gallery. And if it has text, obviously you can't read it if you're blind, but it'll actually take that photo and any text that's in the photo, it'll turn it to text that it'll like read out to you. Um, so you can import that and do that. That's a, that's something I use a lot. Um, instant text. And then the instant text, it instantly reads text. 
like with the camera on objects and stuff um like just over and over and over and so i will uh test that and kind of just show you how that works so instant text just tap it no text found eight i have a gatorade bottle Seven. here and sugar no text found sugar gatorades zer zero sugar her oed no text found 99 eight four and you just kind of like no you do gotta fiddle around with your camera to try to get it angled on something no a bottle's kind of a little difficult especially 11. these because curved and stuff 11. no text found zero zero but it's a bit thin no text found. like if it's something that's like flat in flat Radar. text, like Radar. a paper or something, no or a TV or a screen, Bar. this be Over. would be easier. Zero zero, no text found. Ninety eight, nine, eight, each, no text found. Hit, eighty eight, zens, eight, no text found. Zero sugar, zero sugar, hmm. zero sugar. Z on. Zero sugar. Ten cc ACRV. <laughs> zero sugar. B zero cc ACRV. No text found. Um, Zero. But yeah, you get the point. And then you just double tap again when you're on it to make it stop. Um, like I said, that wasn't the best example because the bottle is like curved and angled weird. But you, you got to figure out the right distance of the camera and stuff to make it work. But if it's like a flat surface, um, it works a bit better. So yeah but um that's like the instant text feature it can be useful um scan text capture a document in a single or batch scan and then i'm not going to do the Double document document thing but it is a thing it basically when you have the document you'd put it on like a flat service like a table and then you would um it, it'll actually help you line it up and it'll tell you like kind of what direction to go like up or down i believe until you get it right and then it'll scan it and then that's cool so envision ai library let's go to some of the other settings selected read tab one of five or not set modes envision ai identify tab two of five and list five items selected read so there's read next says the identify tab identify select move up above describe scene Captures a photo and describes the scene in front of you. Out of list. So. Double tap to activate. Uh, the read tab is the main thing you're going to be using. The other settings kind of are wonky and a work in progress, and aren't that useful. Um, Detect colors. But, describe scene. Captures a photo and describes the scene in front of you. Double tap to activate. <laughs> what the voice assistant or voice thing said. Uh, yeah, it takes a picture of a scene and describes it not very well it's not good <laughs> to be honest but eh, maybe one day it'll get there um detect colors, detect detect the color colors. now this the one camera. is the so one you would think would be really useful but it's kind of not accurate either and a bit finicky one day this could be actually pretty good if you want to try to figure out what color a shirt is or color of a thing is sometimes it works like if you maybe try to get a color of like a can a drink or something maybe that can help you out there so, like i said it's a, it's a bit finicky there are also settings to where you can make it have like wider a wider range of colors but i find that unnecessary so i don't really use this one but it could be useful to some people and it's it's still a work in progress kind of as well so keep that in mind scan barcode Scanning barcode. From the barcode. Um, Move your phone around to position the barcode in front of your camera. <clears throat> it'll make Double a noise when you're kind of close to the barcode, and once you do it, it'll make a noise that it scanned it, and then it'll bring up information. I tried scanning the barcode of uh, this Gatorade, but it said uh, barcode not valid, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. That's still finicky, and I believe like the information that it brings up isn't much really so i don't know how useful that'll be maybe it'll be useful for some people you can give it a try it's kind of like eh you know read tab one of five and list five items um another thing Double i didn't to activate. go over with Selected. the read tab library out of list is um scan text below scan text library. which is documents Double there's library 
And with that, um, you can save the documents that you've scanned as text. You can save that there. Or if you've imported a picture and turned it into text, you can also save it there in the library, as well as some other things. Just wanted to make a quick note of that. Identify tab to five and then next items. after the identify tab, tab, to activate. Find tab five. is the find tab. This Double is tab also selected. work in progress, weird AI stuff. Find people. Detects if there are people around you. You will hear an alert when a person is detected that appears in front of the camera. Out of list. Yep, what that Double said, basically, it'll find people that are, like, um, or recognize people. I think you... A I don't know if they've made how much improvements they've made on this, but in what I remember you having to do is you actually have to take multiple pictures. Like, it'll help you set it up, and uh, we'll... Finding objects. And then Locate objects. specific objects in your surrounding. Choose an object from the preloaded list. There's Double a preloaded list, or you could do Teach and Vision. Teach and Vision. Double tap to activate. Which I believe Teach and Vision is where you like take pictures of an object multiple times, or take pictures of a person, and then it'll recognize that person and tell you when you're like looking for that person or object, and it'll tell you when it is. So it's kind of a little wonky as well. Uh, I, the main things you're going to be using is the text read feature and maybe the document stuff and importing pictures. That's what I mainly use. The other stuff is kind of like there but needs a lot more work. Uh, but it is really interesting still. Um, and then um, settings tab. we'll go to settings. settings. This Select app it. now, like I said, is completely free. It is free on iOS and Android. Uh, I believe you have, I, I don't know if it's, I think you still have to make an account though. Like, so just email and password. And um, what's new? Help, heading, read tutorials. Help. Read tutorials. There is a tutorial Double button here, activate. but I'm making it for you now, so you might not need that, or you will. I don't know. Give feedback. Giving feedback. Double tap to activate. Settings. Heading. Dark mode on. Switch. And you can have a dark mode. Tap to processing sound. Play a waiting sound after scanning text on. Switch. You can have this processing sound on or off. Language detection. Automatically read the text in the detected languages. Reading language. You are currently reading in English. Layout detection. Read columns in the right order and speak out whenever a heading is detected. Text to speech. Change the text to speech engine for how text is spoken. Um, it, it, right now, you could choose what text to speech engine. I'm, I have Samsung, and that's what it's using. You could also switch to Google, but I don't know. Color detection. This Double is the color activate. detection thing where you can choose more colors if you wanted, but I find it unnecessary. Data sharing. Data sharing. About envision. About Double envision. Share with friends. Read tab. One and all that. Layout detection. Reading language. You are current. Language detection. Automatic. Settings, heading, when you're, give feedback, and you can swipe Double up, tap, read tutorials. not up, but Double like swipe activate. left and go Help, move heading. up, what's new, account details, above what's new to account, account, heading, account, account details, details. and there, I believe now you might be able to donate to them and pay what you want, because it's free, but you could like donate if you wanted to support them and all that good stuff, but, um, read tab, one of five, read, selected, back to the read tab, instant text, but that's about everything there is to really cover about it. Um, they do have a YouTube channel called Envision, and they go over mostly stuff about the glasses, honestly. But also they they go over updates and they they update the app, you know, somewhat frequently, and they keep working on it. So yeah, I think that's about it for the Envision AI app. It can be pretty useful. Some of the stuff can be finicky, like. Like I said, as you saw with me reading the the bottle, it is curvy and stuff, so you have to be play around with it with your camera and all that. But if you have any other questions, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Hopefully this will help someone, but uh, yeah, that's been it for me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.